to get a peek today. And you can also visit at www.tigweb.org. You'll notice that um, it's changed our URL, so that's exciting. Um, I'd also like to thank the music, if you notice, is a great, um, created a great atmosphere. His name is Charles Tilden. Um, and for more information, you can also check out his My, MySpace uh, profile. So that's at www.myspace.com slash Charles Tilden. And it's... Hi. Um, I go with Ghazali also as well <laughs> as sort of my English version of my name. Um, so this was a classroom project about a year ago. This concept of taking a, an empty space and making it a, an organic thing to grow and be whatever it could be. Um, so now it's here and it's hosted a variety of different activities over the last eight months um, by just pretty much saying yes to whatever came to it. So it was sort of like, here is an empty space, people walked in, grabbed their emails and contacts and it grew to a pretty large network into the neighborhood itself. So um, the focus was to help improve the community and get people together um, within the local neighborhood to um, sort of act as a neighborhood hub. Um, and the landlord was pretty much the first um, supporter who gave a reduced rent for a short period of time. I got a little extension for uh, with that and that will be up soon. Um, so basically this was a social research project to see what was possible. And it's going to continue further. If you check out the storefrontcommunity.com, you'll know soon what the new future and will be in the new year. So, thank you for coming. Can I plug in audio? And we'll try and plug. Hi, I'm Jennifer, and I'd like to introduce you to the latest version of our online community at Taking It Global. Version 6 of our website has relaunched at tigweb.org, and we've streamlined the experience to help you connect with the global issues that affect us all. One of the first things you'll notice is that our header has changed. Don't worry, all of your favorite tools are still here and can be found in the new header. Our site sections include community, a launching point into our social network of youth leaders from around the world, Action tools, where you can make commitments, launch petitions, and organize projects. Resources, helping you discover organizations, opportunities, and events. Youth media, a place to play educational games and a space to share creative expressions. Global issues, a knowledge center to learn about issues ranging from global poverty to climate change and regions, a hub of activity, connecting you to what's happening in your region, country, and city. There are also some cool new features on the homepage for you to explore, like the video player, a member map, and a feed that highlights the latest and most popular content that fellow members are uploading to the site. <laughs> are you ready to start exploring? Search through the TIG tag cloud to see what other members have highlighted Check out the Browse By section and learn more about the issues that you care about. Use the I Want To dropdown to take your actions to the next level. See you online. So that video was actually created in partnership with um, Engage Learning Systems, so we'd really appreciate working with them. It was, has been and will continue to be hopefully a really great relationship. And I also wanted to thank Freeman, who's part of the team at Engage. So maybe we could give away Freeman. <laughs> that was a fun experience. You got to be in front of the camera and everything. So that was exciting. Well, it's great to be here uh, for another celebration of another milestone that uh, we're taking a global team. And I, just thinking and talking to uh, some of the other people here, uh, about the first involvement with Taking Global with Mike and Jen, and I actually lost track of the day. I think it was 2001, but I'm not entirely sure. And to think that, you know, what has happened, uh, not only with, you know, the technology that, you know, we're using here to connect the world, but in fact how much 
uh, the world has become engaged and just depends upon this to engage, uh, collect, collaborate, and actually get things done. And I, I think this new site is really a remarkable uh, progression of uh, utilizing some of that technology and enabling us to reach out and even uh, uh, create more collaboration among young people around the world. And to actually put create a platform for more young leaders just like you and people around the world who are much like uh, you today to actually make changes in the world. So I think it's a wonderful platform. It's a fantastic uh, um, accomplishment uh, to have progressed the way, that, the way it has. And I'm just going to close with a little tiny story. Many of you know Dan, Don Tapscott. Don, Don's written a number of books and has been closely affiliated with Taking Global since really, I think, the beginning as well. Uh, I was at a conference about a year ago where Don was the keynote speaker. And in his speech, he was talking about essentially the, the uh, content from his newest book, uh, Grown Up Digital, which just, uh, I think, launched about a month ago. It was probably about a month ago, I think. And um, he put up a slide of a picture of Mike on a, on a panel discussion that goes back probably five or six years ago. And he kind of pointed to him and he said, I want to point out this guy, Michael Furtick. And he called Michael the granddaddy of social networking. So this guy over here is the granddaddy of social networking. It's great to be here and to celebrate this great event with you. Yes. Turn it back to uh, John. Well, thank you all, and uh, this is indeed a, a treat. And uh, I guess in in the, the cynicism and the the impotence that so many people feel around governments and politics and all that, I guess I I just can't thank you guys enough for for what you do, not only in having people connected, but also helping people like me make sure that what we're doing is relevant and responsive uh, to the people that we are looking after. And as, as long as, as we do the citizen engagement thing over here and the politics thing over there, we aren't, we aren't going to make better public policy. And so it's a, it's a two-key system where those of us that are supposedly at the tables where these decisions get taken need to have the attitude that know that we will get better public policy we we listen to you but it also is that that we have to do everything we can with the help and support of 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 people like jen and mike and and all of you to be able to do things in ways that uh, that the people who are engaging with one another online around the world feel that it's worth their time uh to try and engage with their governments and 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 on this rather messy project called democracy. So I, I, uh, I want to just say thank you uh, from setting up, uh, helping us set up a senior summit um, with 29 ridings across the country to helping me give a keynote address in Melbourne the day after the election because I couldn't get to Melbourne in time to, to what we're doing on the eFood Summit uh, the end of January. I just can't uh, thank you personally enough for the inspiration that you give us in trying to just make sure that we will we will move our democracy into this century appropriately and that uh, and we can't do it without your help so thank you very very much and as a doctor i just want to say that uh, that one of the in the swedish health goals about about what it takes to stay healthy um, civic participation is number one in the health goals uh, for mm -hmm. for for their country and that it means that feeling done to, feeling you have no say, feeling you have no voice is sickening. Mm. It, it makes you sick. Mm. And so for you to be providing this health tool yeah. of, of actually allowing people to have a say and then hopefully with us to be able to provide the feedback loop that shows people that that great idea they had actually ended up in this bill or in this public policy uh, then, then in this economic stimulus package, whatever it is, that, that we want all of your ideas and your help because we can't do it without you. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Wonderful, exciting video that we're about to watch. Um, who was actually, this was actually prepared by one of our designers, Mirdad Nadimi. Hi, Mirdad, thank you. <laughs>